हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर स्पोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट आउट इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन द रात बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग Go to google.com and search janaropinions.com and open this site. Here you can see the latest news, Dinar opinions, and Dinar guru updates on a single page. So visit this site for more information. As far as Swandi, Buzani and Awak in the IMF, World Bank, US Treasury. This and my teams are concerned the monetary reform is expected. We've been waiting many years to see this RV slash rate change happen, but the way they are doing it seems right. It's fully thought out and done with intricate precision. I believe that once they put the icing on the cake, it will stick, and that's what we need. Article: Oil Minister. We hope to announce that Iraq's oil reserves will rise to more than 160 billion barrels. Good lordy, that's a lot of barrels. The increase in the reserves could definitely help to strengthen the Iraqi dinar, including against the U.S. dollar. When Zidani was saying they are going to have a strong economy, strong dinar, this could be part of the plans he had in mind. There's no doubt this would definitely increase the strength of the Iraqi dinar. Does that lead to an increase in the Iraq exchange rate? Possibly, but not necessarily. It just helps strengthen the Iraqi dinar, and a strong currency eventually leads to an increase in value. There are several regimens to float a currency. Free float: the currency's value is determined solely by supply and demand in the market. Managed float, similar to a free floating, but a government intervenes by buying or selling its own currency to minimize fluctuations. Currency peg. The currency's value is pegged to a basket of currencies or to another country's currency. European snake in the tunnel, beginning in mid 1972. Each country agreed not to allow its currency to fluctuate more than one and one eighth percent up or down from an agreed central exchange rate. I doubt they still call it the snake, but that is the method used to if one wishes to participate in the IMF baskets. The dinar will use the European snake method of floating the currency, because it only allows for a one and one eighth percent fluctuation up or down, thus providing the maximum stability. The currency will open with its permanent value, more or less, and then over time, it may be allowed to adjust one and one eighth percent either way. Whether they float or not doesn't matter, because at the onset. They could, if they wanted, to come out with a very high exchange rate, but instead they will float because inside of the float they can control the rate with caps. For example, they could come out at maybe three dollars or four dollars right away with controlled caps either way. Iraqi citizens win, and you and I win. It is great to see more articles regarding the float. I strongly believe this is the early stages of the last push by the CBI to educate the citizens prior to implementing the Delete the Zeros project. Patience, all. This is slowly coming together. 